It is Women's Small Business Month, and the Cook County Black Chamber of Commerce is celebrating by reminding people of the importance of shopping small. So important. Yes, Such a good is. month to celebrate. One Oak Park business owner says her customers have made her dream of owning her own nail salon a reality. Joining us now is Shonda Glover, owner of the Polished Palace of Oak Park, and Siri Hibbler, CEO and founder of the Illinois Black Chamber of Commerce. Hello to you both. Thanks for being with us. Hi, how are you doing? Good, doing well. I'm really glad you're here. Glad to be celebrating this. LaShonda, let's start with you. You're coming up on one year in business. Such a big accomplishment. Yeah, congratulations yeah, for that. Especially in these Thank times you, right now. Sure. What's it been like owning and operating your own nail salon this past year? So it's been crazy, but it's, it's been lovely. Like it's it's been a very good experience for me. Um, this has always been a dream for me. So it's just like a dream come true. I'm still like living in reality right now. And we're seeing the pictures there. It looks so nice. You've really set it up so well. Is it something Thank you've you. always wanted to do? I know you mentioned it being a dream. What made you decide to open the salon? So I wanted to um, find a place where all like black, brown, well, actually all communities can come and feel safe and um, be treated like royalty. So this, that's what really made me want to open the salon so they could feel comfortable and if I get their nails and their feet done and somewhere to relax and open up and express. Because like nail techs, we are, uh, we're something like a therapist. So you could come mm -hmm. and relax and open up and talk to them after you had a long, long week. So I wanted a place that people could feel safe. Uh, Siri, Audrina mentioned just coming out of the pandemic, so we know all of those challenges that all businesses had to deal with. But what some of the other uh, challenges and hurdles that local business owners, owners have to overcome, particularly black business owners and female black business owners and entrepreneurs? It's been uh, so, so much going on. I mean, just trying, trying to keep your facility open and, um, and, and just, just really trying to, to make sure that you know, you can stay in business, you know, because you put so much money into a business, you know, you don't want to have to close a year later, you know, so it's been really tight for folks trying to make sure that they can make ends meet, but they're doing all that they can, applying for all types of grants, all types of uh, business opportunities coming through, and the chamber is trying to get that out to folks as much as we can. Um, to help them to pay their their bills so they can keep their doors open. So that's been the main challenge. It's just really trying to uh, keep those bills and, uh, and make ends meet at and, this time. And how do you impress upon consumers that it really helps the entire community when you keep those dollars where you live and help your own, really, your neighbors? These are your fellow residents who open these small businesses where you live. You, that is music to my ears. We preach that every day. Please come out. The, the businesses need the residents to come out and support right there within your community. This is no time for anybody to be separate. You don't have to go all the way, 10 miles away to get to a nail shop. LaShonda is right around the corner. Yes. So why would you travel, you know, right. miles away when they have, you have phenomenal services right there in your community. We are, we implore and we, we encourage every resident Take a walk through your community, drive through your community, see what businesses are there and make it a purpose, a point to stop and support that business. They need the residents right now more than ever. Oh yeah, and sometimes mm. it's breaking the habits, right? You might yeah. <laughs> think about going to a big box or that might have been something you typically would have done and now there's so many pushes. LaShonda, what's your message to viewers when it comes to shopping small and ways that they can support you and other small businesses like yours? Um, I will say just come out and support all all the black owned businesses, all the small businesses. Uh, we all need the support. Um, we are all neighbors. I support all the business around and I will hope someone all you guys will support us. And Siri, all month long, the Cook County Black Chamber of Commerce is celebrating women's small business during this Women's Small Business Month. Can you tell us what you have planned and how you're supporting businesses like LaShonda's where we can get our nails done and get some great therapy <laughs> all at the same time, one-stop shopping? <laughs> I go to LaShonda myself <laughs> down the street. Uh, uh, so I'm really excited uh, to support uh, women's small businesses. You know, we have to stick together. And this is the message that we, we put out there with our women. Stick together, you know, partner. We are not competitors, okay? We are partners. So if you have an overflow of business, then send it to someone else, right? 
encourage others to support other other businesses so our plans that we have to celebrate this phenomenal women's small business we've been giving out uh we have a contest going where you can get a one year of free groceries if you are a senior citizen or single family with children and you can you can register on the COVID 19 african american relief fund site or call the chamber and register so you can get one year of free groceries. We're also celebrating by giving away 300 computers to uh, to low income households. We'll be giving those computers out on October 27th in the Garfield Park uh, area. You need to go to the Cook County Black Chamber website for more information. And also with the phenomenal pictures that you showed, we're giving hosting our annual Access to Capital and Wealth Building Summit for women and minority businesses in, in uh, October 26th at the Pleasant Home Mansion in Oak Park. So we are excited. So if you have an app that you want to get uh, uh, funded, we'll have venture capitalists there, angel investors, banks, uh, one of our sponsors, uh, Seaway uh, uh, Self-Help Credit Union, has is, is got great programs going on. Merrill Lynch will be there. So we've got some great people that's going to be on site. So you want to come to that Access to Capital Wealth Building Summit for our women and for our minority businesses. Don't miss out October 26th. It's going to be a great time. So many amazing resources. So glad they're available. Absolutely. And attainable, too. It's great that you guys have all that going. LaShonda Glover, owner of the Polished Palace of Oak Park, and Siri Hibbler, CEO and founder of the Illinois Black Chamber of Commerce. Thank you both so much for being with us Thank and you. for sharing all of that.